never like see him at Valve tournaments. Never see him again. Do you think that Valve is going to maybe ease, ease up on those rules at some point? Like, let's say yeah. it's been five years. Uh, it's time to ban. Time to ban. I mean, I, I, I thought so. And I, I have personally felt like I've made it known that I feel like they have kind of you served their sentence. In yeah. way. If, you, if you want to just look at it in the way that like how much they've probably been denied yeah. by that one play. But then again, there is something to be said about setting a precedent, yep. making sure that there sure. is you gotta no make a way stance. that people, yeah, like if all of a sudden like Valve let that go and they're like, okay, it's been two years, come on back, then remaining. maybe other people feel like, okay, maybe if five. sentencing is lenient like five that. Seconds of course, like I, I think um, studies show that that isn't actually the case, that leniency. Bye-bye, Lumi. Bye, Lumi. All right, draft has started. I'm going to look at these bands. doesn't actually um, increase crime. Oh, well, then it's good. Time to ban. But, but, yeah. But we're not Val. We don't make the rules. You, you, you want uh, actually, you want to know it real quick, funny? Sure. I ran into Z-Talk recently in a pub. And if you guys know Z-Talk, Z-Talk is um, kind of flamey sometimes. Team yeah. Liquids. And he flamed. I was on the team with him. And he flamed his team, our, us. He said, go ahead and uh, play League of Legends, please. And I said, why don't you go play League of Legends, as it's the only place you can play competitively. Oh. You just wanted he to share talk, some of your He did plans. not talk to me for the rest of the game. I mean, I don't blame him. I probably deserved an instant mute for that one, but... You know, he was flaming our team. Yeah, you gotta protect your team and yeah. your team morale, most of all. Ten seconds remaining. Shut up the haters. All right. We are well into the draft. Lumi is already picking the first remaining. three. Night Stalker Ancient Operation picked up by Team Liquid. The Bane for most likely for uh, Solo for Virtus Pro. Other way, Lumi. And, uh, Sorry. We have got some bans, and I don't think the bans are that surprising. Winter Wyvern, Beastmaster, and Tiny on the side of Virtus Pro. The surprising bans maybe come from Team Liquid as they have as a Shadow Demon as well as uh, Sven and Ogre Magi. I think Virtus Pro has just banned out the, the meta heroes, and Liquid just banned very specific heroes. I think. Looks like it. I bet Shadow Demon's going to become a, become a meta hero. Well, apparently he already is. And, and Ogre, we saw a decent amount of Ogre, right? And it's a classic True. solo hero. Yeah. So, but they do get their hands on Bane. Um, I, I feel like that is one of the stronger heroes. They pick Clockwork into Night Stalker. Um, Obviously, Night Stalker can just kind of fly over the cogs if it's nighttime. You also have some vision issues there as well, but it does completely lock down Ancient Apparition, takes them out of fight. Ten seconds remaining. We'll see. I, I also really value the clockwork right now. Uh, it doesn't remaining. seem like too many people, other people are, but I feel like the having a four position that has such a hard initiation for team fights is really value. Add on to the fact that he deals with split push yeah. decently Close. well by spamming Turn Rocket Flare man. later into the game, mm -hmm. especially with his level 15 talent, which gives it a, a big bonus. Maybe it's level 20. But you can clear through creep waves pretty quickly at a global distance. I feel like I've seen so this uh, drafting Turn sequence where one team goes AA and the other team immediately replies with Clockwork because that's just a, such a free kill in the early to mid game. And even late game, uh, generally A stays relatively far away from the rest of the team because we're ult, and it's just a free pick pretty much any time before A gets that four staff. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, we are in the banning phase once again, and we have the Omni Knight Five ban as remaining. well as the Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Uh, Night Night uh, Life Sealer. Nikes. All right. I'd be interested to see if they um, pick Brewmaster on VP. I saw they were picking it up quite a bit. It does seem like it's fallen off. And I'm, if they pick it, I, I would watch that very carefully just because I'm not sure about the viability of the hero right now. If it is that strong or not. Yeah, we mentioned a couple of times yesterday as well when we thought there was a good opportunity to pick it and it just didn't, didn't make an appearance at all. I, I don't think it can be this Five game. Now remaining. that I look at the heroes, Night Stalker, Ancient Apparition, a silence, and a, a hero that decreases Brewmaster's tankiness, that's not what you want to play into. Maybe we'll see it for game two. He's very popular in SCA. Uh, you can pick. see teams like oh, yeah. Mineski, Ice 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 plays him a ton. I think Ohio has him on, on a couple games. But... Uh, Perhaps we're going to see him tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, OG Ooh. would be is, is one that I would see playing it as well. It's nice. Uh, Axe gets picked with uh, the Ursa ban still and the uh, Queen of Pain ban on Virtual Pro. Why is it an Axe? Why not? Mm. 
Ten but why though? Remaining. You don't like it? I just feel like Five it's seconds remaining. it's a hero that has some difficulty getting what he wants out of the lane to start, mm -hmm. and there are other offlaners that usually have a better time. Yeah. That. I don't see any clear reason why you would take Axe against Clockbane. It might be more for the economy side. We've seen okay. so many more ancient stacking going on. Maybe Team Liquid wants to pick up Team a 1 and 2 position that don't farm the ancient as well. Speaking of farming ancients, Gyro <clears throat> can farm ancients. God, I hope they have a plan for this Axe. They Some sort of do. aggro tri lane and Axe gets a 1v1 because he does not like facing Gyrocopter. I'll tell you that much. It seems like Liquid is definitely very remaining. experimental when it comes to the offlane, right? We saw Mind Control playing, Five what, Queen offlane two games, yeah. Undying offlane, Axe offlane, so... It might not work out, let's say, super well, but they're definitely trying stuff. And the combination is there, right? Blink Call, Ice Blast, that's decent, I guess. No Tiny. No, tiny bad, tiny bad. Well, good, but too good. Oh, right. sorry, I actually didn't see it. Yeah, my bad. Virtus Pro just banned out, you know, the three heroes that they consider. It's something that that is very Virtus Pro esque, where they don't really look about look at what they think that the Liquid's gonna do, but they just think like, which heroes do we not want to play against, regardless I, of which team they're facing. I like um, Marana here. Doesn't mm -hmm. care about Clockwork or Gyrocopter for the most part. <clears throat> Has some issues with Bane though. You can uh, go into the def get an arrow of defensive nightmare. It's not great. It could work out. We are looking for a hero for for liquid indeed first. Yeah, I was sorry. I was talking about liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But you think they need because they have now an axe on the off lane, and I'm gonna assume that night stalker and ancient operation are the four and the five. So we're looking for a miracle and a matuma man hero, and I feel like they're. They need two decent physical damage people. Yeah, some fighting hero, maybe a Venge carry or something. Yeah. Be. They go for the bro, oh. but Humaman brood. Mothered. So I've Me. heard I've heard people talking about the new brood being even stronger than the old brood. The change is that you lose invisibility now on your web, but you gain unobstructed movement no matter what. Yeah. Um, I think the other big nerf to the Broodmother is, I believe she got her experience gain talent removed. I'm not 100% on that. You used to be able to actually get one level per minute, and you hit like 25, <clears throat> around 25, and you just, uh, you get the 20 talent, which is the plus 70 attack speed, which is a big boost to her DPS. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I don't play Brood, but I, I don't think she has a talent anymore, or at least it got shifted back. Cap, please do check for me. Um, and I think that's also a big nerf on, on that part. Could uh, the Broodmother an Axe? Is there some, some kind of synergy that they, you know, they, they knew they were going to pick Brood, so that's why they have the Axe type of thing? Your experience gain is 35% at 15 At now, 15, yeah. Rather than a level 10. And that makes a big difference. Yeah. Going from 10 to 15 is a big deal. And people haven't been getting it actually almost needs sorry uh 200 health uh for level 10 makes a broodmother really tough to kill when especially when you have that uh unobstructive walking and then the 20 percent cooldown i think the broodmother like traditionally gyrocopter does well against broodmother but this broodmother is going to be operating much like we've seen in 7.0 um where people were just playing focusing on right clicking um, and focusing on like mask command desolator and stuff so in that context, Broodmother is going to be very good against Gyro because any hero that really latches onto a Gyrocopter um, and it doesn't really let go, Gyro has a big problem. He likes his zooming around. And synergy with Axe? Black cannon. No synergy with Axe. No synergy with Axe. <laughs> Not okay. that I see it. Bad. Well, I'm, I'm sure that the Axe pick is going to make sense at some point. Don't worry. So we have an Earthshaker picked up as well by Virtus Pro. Uh, it, that that it means it's be. a off an Earthshaker. It could be a mid Earthshaker could against mid. the Broodmother. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. That's just uh, an option. I do, I'm not even sure if Virtus Pro know what they're doing. So this. But do you think the Broodmother is going to be mid? 
Jonathan? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's how Liquid always played it. Okay. Put her mid right now. Um, the benefit you get from the Broodmother in the mid lane is that you could get Five access to the hard remaining. camps slash ancient camps very easily. They did move the hard camps further away from the mid lane, but still, you get a lot more farm. You get to push out the wave and then back off and farm a lot. That's how Mutumba Man used to get a level per minute. But uh, we'll see. Is that a Viper Ban? That, that is indeed a Viper Ban, and uh, Virtus Pro also bans out the Anti Mage. Okay. Don't want to see that come out. Remaining. And the uh, next pick is for Virtus Pro. It means Liquid has Five the last pick remaining. to tie everything together. What could tie the draft for Virtus Pro together? How do you feel like their plan? Razor against Brood. Razor against Brood. Need. They could. They could dark oh, pick. That does mean that they're seeker mid. Seeker mid. Or is that the dark seer mid though? Yeah, I think it's no? shaker mid, and then the dark seer with the clockwork. Okay. But we'll see. Shift things over. We'll see. Ten seconds. Everything remaining. is up in the air. Just... Five seconds remaining. I hear uh, Owen say that he thinks a miracle is going to play that axe. Oh, Medusa is the last pick. You may now select your heroes. What is it, Miracle? I can't find Medusa. Uh, it is mind control axe. It is Miracle Medusa. Medusa. And it is uh, yeah, no one Earthshaker. So uh, yep, it is a uh, mid Earthshaker. They've been bamboozled. They've now they can just run safely and brood, and the Dusa up against the Earthshaker. Though, obviously, they uh, they have Dark Seer. It's just going to be mid's going to be really difficult for no Earthshaker. One, Earthshaker. Yeah. Any melee heroes susceptible to the Mystic Snake. Yep. Not right. fun. Lumi, what do you think is going to happen? Who's going to take this first game? I like Liquid's draft much more. They have a good balance of mid to late game, and I think they have the better lanes as well. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going for Liquid as well, by the way. I like VP's pace of game. Uh, yeah. against against Liquid. I, I think they really can't get run over with this lineup, so I'll go okay. BP. Let's find out if uh, Kerry Earthshaker or Mid or Mid Earthshaker is going to do it over to Odie Pixel and Fogged for game number one. Thank you very much, Chief. Yes, we are ready here for game one. We have VP versus Liquid. We got a little bit of fun from VP, and I thought we are going to have a little bit of fun from Liquid, but no! Liquid say we're playing Medusa as our final pick. Medusa Brood! Pretty, pretty strong game for Medusa. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty dream lane if they actually do set it up like that. But what it looks like is they are throwing Miracle in the safe lane. And they're going to put the Brood mid versus no one. Okay. So what that tells me is typical Liquid. They don't yeah. really care. They're like, Matu will end up catching up. He knows how to play these heroes. He can do Ancients, etc. with Broodmother. Medusa is the late game, and Miracle is the one that they usually want to babysit and have him have the best game possible. So he's going to safe lane versus Darkseer. It's also quite decent versus Darkseer because you can push the lane out a little bit better than a Broodmother and it's just a better matchup versus that Darkseer. And we'll be my control up in that top lane. I see a lot of shared tangos coming out from Liquid. So two shared tangos on Broodmother, two shared tangos on Axe. So Axe started with Boots, Stout Shield. Okay, so he's, well, he's ready to run at them. He's ready to pull the creep wave. Okay. That's what I feel like. Here we go. Ion shells have been starting to put out. Liquid does not really want to contest this one. I'm not at all. As VP will be able to secure themselves both. In fact, well, let's go three runes. Yep. Nice start for VP. Let's see if Mind Control does go cut that creep wave. I did think he would, mm. especially once he saw Hero's bottom, and looks like that's going to be the. Yeah, only Ramsey's up here at the moment. Oh. Creep wave, so. Clockwork Darks your duel in. We've seen teams do this in the past. Just because, in theory, you know, it sounds inc so strong, right? You iron show the clockwork. If you can get people in the cogs. You can even vacuum later on, get more people inside the cogs. Sure, not early, but the combo is very strong. If you isolate anybody, the damage from battery salt and iron shell is absurd. That being said, though, Liquid is putting a full safe lane tri lane, which will make it very tough for that mid lane. And oh, look at Solo. Oh, here comes in the MP. Evil is skilled. He is yeah. doing what he does best. Matu, he's gonna need a bit of help, and it is on its way. GHT is into the mid lane, and oh, another ball for you as well, sir. Yep. Yeah, the no one mid shaker. I'm excited to see how this this plays out. Other than the deuce for this, it it definitely can be a nice game for a, a farm shaker. Lots of heroes to jump on and splat, but uh, it can be a bit of a risky one running the core shaker. 
Yeah, look, bottom. Battery swap plus iron shell. That's what we were talking about here. Kuroki. Has to actually skill ice level and ice vortex to get that movement speed burst. To avoid clockwork. Lil pulls the lane. And I mean, my control is going to do great up here until the rotations come out. He's got a quite a, like a pretty nice matchup versus Gyrocopter with that pure damage helix. Miracle. He's getting kind of low, eh? And uh, with that mine, yeah, they're just going to guard him. Miracle. It's a mana shield. He's going to be in some trouble here. Yeah, Cogs come out. Cogs. I... Is he getting home out of this? But he's got someone charging. Fairy he still fire. has the fairy fire. Yep. But uh, he is now out of mana and very low on health after that bit of abuse from Ouch. Will and Pasha. The cog burn though really owns Medusa. That mana and health drain. Solo. He has a TP, but GH has the void. They're gonna be running him down. Now this should be your first one, unless he can do some amazing next level jukes. He's trying. Oh, he's dead. He's trapped. They caught him under the tower. And oh, there we go. First blood for mind control. So there comes a waltzing a little too close to, to danger. And uh, pretty nice for the offlane lane, off -lane uh, action. Oh, here we go, round two. He's gonna he's got that vortex again to speed away. Ooh, zoom. He's Ooh, fine. The tower as well, hitting that card so Kuro can only hit it once. See Lily, he was tempted to dive for this, but Kuro, he's gonna turn and force Lil Rai back. Careful. Mid lane start. Oh. <laughs> There's a hasty Bane trying to snipe a Oh <laughs> my god. Oh, what is going on? I mean, I don't blame for Solo for trying for that one. He nearly had it. How did he get there so fast after <laughs> hey. dying top? He just like instantly TP'd, and got the rune, and yeah. haste rune there. All right. Oh, dude. All right, so it's 2-0 two, two for Liquid. Yeah. All right. Farm mid, though. Looking very good for no one. Yep. He's Funny three support. It's a, yeah. it's a pretty good matchup versus, for the Earthshaker versus Rune 1v1. And he got help from this card, so. Bottom lane, Cog comes out. Hurts Miracle quite a bit. Got mana burn and damage dealt from Cogs. As I mentioned before, very good versus Medusa. And no one can stand his own versus Matu quite well with that stout shield melee hero. Yeah. Time the spider comes in, he turns, gives them the, the totem to the face. Miracles farm down bottom, certainly been slowed down by this, this duo lane that's working out for the time being. Mid lane, again. Consistent trade of harassment, but to my man getting lower and lower. He still have the south to pull back on him. I think oh. the big thing is also that not only are they slowing Miracles farm down, is they're, yeah. keep, they're letting Pasha farm. He's going straight for the arcane boots. He's already got almost 20 last hits to his name. That's very good for Darkseer because we've seen Darkseer really kind of suffering, especially in the last few recent patches because those mana changes. And no one might actually try to make a rotation with his teammates. There's an arcane boots to hit him up, and they're actually just gonna. Doesn't want to lose the tower to Brood making those rotations. And up top, Ramses has the phase boots complete. It's nighttime. Solo. Oh no, not again. Spotted out. Oh no, not again, Solo. It's been a painful opening for Solo. This is the third time he goes down. Mind control, running himself away from Ramses. And I'll tell you what, he's only gonna go make it. He gets away safely. GH. You see He's that? fine as well. Look at the bottom. They actually find a miracle. It's a scary duo lane. I mean, you said it was seen in yeah. the past. It's, it's not necessarily the most common at all. You surge, you get the yeah. cogs, battery salt plus iron shell. It's one of the highest DPS between two heroes actually in the game. You can uh, combine battery salt, one of the highest. Same thing with iron shell. And top, you noticed how Ramsey's, you've seen a difference. Arteezy, as well as... Uh, I think it was mid one who played the gyrocopter. Ooh, they went for the 0 4 4 build. Ramses actually has max three levels in barrage. Old already. school. Yeah. Old school gyro here from Ramses. I think this is because he's playing first with an axe. So he's expecting them to kind of like run onto him so he can use the barrage to its best, but. Yeah. Missile has been buffed severely. And that was why we've been seeing teams use it. And now Kuro and GH are looking for the wrap run onto Ramses. Ramses has called on at the ready. But be careful if he steps up too far though. Axe now does have call. Almost level five. See what they can do. TP and already coming through from the clock. Lil's gonna be there. Ramsey's getting gone on for Lil with the battery. So it heads forward and Liquid back and away from that. This battery. Well, I mean, look at the damage. Battery so and Iron Shell. Yep. It's ridiculous. You just run down any support this stage of the game and you destroy them. Solo. He's got his eyes on GH, but. No points in Nightmare. Another 
course, but no one will still find the Fisher. GH blocked off, and look who's ready and waiting on the other side to pop down the cogs, surrounding GH. He's trying his best to run away with this extra speed underneath the nighttime, but it's not enough. The Enchant Totem to the faces there from no one. And VP pick up a third. Well, we got it. Only his fifth game on Shaker. Only a 25% win rate out of those four games that he's played. Oh, yeah, I remember the Kaka or Shaker, too. That's a good point, yeah. ESL Hamburg. They were just like, all right, Kaka, you're mid now. Versus that bird mother. Pretty neat. They lost, didn't they? They did lose. They did lose, didn't they? I remember, yeah, I remember that. He had a good laning yeah. phase, and then it, yeah. just, it fell off pretty hard. I remember he got, like, tri-ganked, and he turned around and killed two people, I believe. Smoke, toward top. They're trying to punish Ramses here. They have very high kill potential if they can close the gap. Hello, does break the smoke. They know that he's around the area. Radiance middle tower is under attack. See what they can do. All they need to do is get the, the jump in with the night stalk really, but solo. They don't want to fight away from the creep wave versus a gyrocopter who you know has rocket barrage already. And rocket barrage is now maxed. Level seven gyro is very, very scary. Yeah. Miracle still eating heavy harassment from that surge combo into COGS battery assault. Catching a little bit up in CS, but seeing at the top still, the two mid laners, no one and the Tumba Man. Very big up top. On control, getting a little too close, and there's the rundown. Pull down and Rocket Barrage bringing him down very low. Try and turn, looking for an opportunity to dunk. Couldn't quite find the threshold in time. Kuro and GH looking for revenge. They should get Ramses, and indeed they do. And Stella bring down one of these two with him. It doesn't look like he can. He's out of mana. But at the end of the day, the two of them dive in deep for the kill. Little maybe had to turn things around, but already Liquid back off. So it will keep Bane alive. You see how like, my control wasn't actually a oh, bottom lane. Sasha versus Miracle. Oh, oh Miracle wins the fight. <laughs> see how he, uh, my control actually uses the Axe ult. Even though the Gyro wasn't low at all, he just used it for the 150 damage to try to help his teammates get the kill on bottom. No one gets a free frag on Miracle. Just invis behind the tower and one enchant totem hit. Easy peasy. 1200 gold towards that blink. Dagger one track for pretty good timing for him. All of these movements though, it gives a lot of space to the spider in the mid lane. Matuma Man, he has got that desolator complete. And this is classic Matuma Man. Picking it up and getting it this as early as he has. I say he's got it, he's about 200 gold away. But even so, this is going to be a very, very quick so timing on on the brood. And then to be fair, at that point, you know, if the Shaker's already popped his spells, if you get in on him, you'll be able to shred him. Yeah, I mean, he's got it finished up, but yeah. did you see Solo's warding that he placed a couple minutes ago? He's blocked out both sets of Ancients to make sure that they can't you know, enable the brood too much. Oh, oh no one? what? I mean, he got the spiders. He got a lot of gold. <laughs> he got a lot of spiders, but uh, did not get the kill as GH was outside of the range of it. Solo's now gonna die. No one should be fine, but... Yeah, take out those Ob's wards that are blocking the Ancients. Yeah. No reload straight away. Mind Control versus Ramsey's top. Mind Control needs a couple spins here. There's Close the RNG. The he needs one spin. He's not getting it. He's got Vanguard already finished on the Axe, so he's quite tanky to be able to go for that. Now Brood goes jungle, and Kuroki's like, thank you so much. I go mid, I get six. My, my six is very important. And yeah, Matu's still saving gold. Has the enough for, um, for the Mithra Hamel, but it has not purchased it up just yet. Maybe he's gonna change his mind. I think Matu almost always goes desolated, though. Yeah, I wonder if he maybe thinks let's just get Radiance and go for the farm if he wants to play that sort of game. But, as you say, yeah, still sitting on that big pile of gold that he's building up, the spider. Hmm. Still to spend into it. Now what? Level 10, takes the 250 mana. Yeah, now the mana is just way more worth it on a shaker. The 30 damage is okay, but it's not the 10 strength that it used to be. 10 strength was an insane amount of damage and tankiness in the bottom. A little bit of miracle, miracle is just fine. And that's the blink pick up for no one. At the same time, Stella grabs the smoke. Open, oh, Bill's going back in? Never mind. Yeah, that's what's going to be careful down. That iron shell, it's really high level already. Level 8 on Pasha. And they're going to go for this again, probably, with Lil and Pasha. Iron shell him up, maybe turn him to close the gap onto Miracle. No lane, no one. Coming a little too far, they're trying to get this man out of there, but it's not going to work. He gets taken down, Ramsey, look at that gold, farms up a, a fair amount of spiders. 
Well, that money does add up. Doesn't manage to get a kill though, as Liquid will stay alive back off in time. And he's still saving money, Matumba man. He's just sitting on 4.5k gold. I'm trying to think if he's going to either do the Radiance, the Deso, or the Orchid. Maybe the Orchid could be really nice this game versus the uh, versus the Earthshaker. What is he going to do? He, I mean, you know he's having a laugh about it. He's thinking of something fun. What What is the fun item today? Guess we'll see. There it is. Okay, he still gets the Deso. He still does the Deso. Gets... Uh, yeah, I was okay. going to say, I don't see him ever really deviate from that build. But now bottom Miracle. Gets hookshotted up with the Ion Shell and Cogs. More than an odd miracle. Oh, no one's secure as the last hit. Yeah, Miracle's having a pr bit of a rough time then. Yeah. His, uh, his farm's falling behind. They didn't really play around him too much. They pretty they were like, okay, this lane, we can't help. Night Stalker and AA can't contest versus Darkseer, Clockwork. And they just roamed and left him to his own devices. Ramsey spotted up by the ward here. Matu has full Deso and Mask of Madness at base. Pretty absurdly farmed in solo. Getting isolated. Oh, and he's gone. GH and Mind Control around. Dunk from Mind Control. He wants. They want to give Mind Control these kills because he's getting closer and closer to Blink. That's the biggest item for them to pick up so they can keep making space for Miracle. Because now Miracle, he's just got to farm to catch back up and let the team make the space for him. Mid lane. Hero. He's gone. Let's get the Ice Blast down, Ramses, but unlikely the Liquid are going to be able to do anything with that. As you say, just waiting on that Axe Blink before they start to get too practiced. Mid lane, no one. He is ironing this stuff. He's got the Echo Slam back and available and straight in. There he goes. On to GH. Sets up for another kill for Ramses as they get a double. Moving on the tower. Getting some good momentum now, VP. But still 12 minutes in. It's only a 1k gold lead for Liquid. It's a very, very close, close opening this game. Yeah. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. That's the axe that they were waiting for. Getting his blink dagger. Smoke up though from VP. Was warded. So Liquid fully aware of this. Matu broke the smoke from the high ground. And yeah, they know this is happening. Miracle starts backing up and... Oh! I think they actually pinged out that they put that ward there. GH. Has to be careful here now. Mid. And up top. Solo. He's leading in straight away with the fiend script. On to GH. Buying time for Ramses to close the gap. Miracle's trying to push them off with the stone gaze, but it's not going to be enough to help them. So get the turnaround dunk onto Solo. Now they're turning back towards Ramses. Can they finish off this gyro? No one's there. And with that, BP, they can turn, try and fight back against Matumo, who's desperately trying to live steal up, but the chain stuns are there between the Shaker and the homing missile as Liquid lose four. They've only got Miracle left alive. Can he get away from this one? Lil trying to close the gap, jump forward from no one, and with the cogs, they have the control into the dark steel wall. Miracle's down as well, and Ooh. all five heroes being taken down by VP. Ramses does get picked off by Kuro. The Ice Blast. They have that ward near the Ancients, so he did actually see him running back here. But yeah, so they revealed their high ground ward, that Fiend's Grip. Miracle tries to come in, the Stone Gaze does not yes. connect, and in the mid lane there, no one actually yeah. killed Kuroki by himself with an Enchant Totem. So there was no AA Blast, which they desperately needed for this one. Matsu gets st chain stunned up by the Missile, the Totem, and the Fissure, and gets brought down. While on the side, you also see the Ion Shell and Clockwork. We do nice work of mind control as well. So they are isolating very nicely by VP and being aggressive before they saw that blink deck on the axe. And now blink is finished on mind control, so they can still look to get on. I'd be surprised if they don't deward that high ground one though. That uh, the fiend's grip's initiated on, because that was a clear fiend's grip onto the high ground. Oh, that's a good point as well. I saw Web just highlight that out. Once the spirit vessel's there, are we right in saying that that is going to nullify a lot of Matuma Man's life steal with the ult? Yes, it can. That's that's pretty damn good. Yeah. And he's he's not too far away from. Well, he's he's, he's getting there. He's nearly got enough of the bit booster, but it, it's not going to be a long time until that spirit vessel's there. And that yeah, that's going to have to be quite something that Matuma Man has to be aware of. On the side, Mind Control will find the catch on to Lil. There's the combo that we're talking about with the Blink and Ice Blast combination. But Mind Control pays his price. And end of the day, not worth it. Throwing away that axe for just a support clock. Yeah. So the Spirit Vessel thing that you're mentioning, it, yeah. it is it is good versus the Broodmother, but ideally as a Brood, you don't really want to fight too much until you have that BKB on top okay. of all this. Because your timings are... You get level 20, you get your BKB Master Madness Deso, and then you're that absolute monster. Miracle gets swept up. 
solo there. Good. Yeah, they do have Fiend's Grip, but yeah, Miracle's just gonna go straight for the Stone Gaze and get out. Ooh, a hook shot. Not quite long enough there from Lil. Can't close the gap. Miracle gets back out. So, don't think we get a kill onto Solo as well by the looks of it, as he was, for some reason, still in that lane. I don't quite know how he ended up there, but. Looked like, I think maybe he was trying to get another down. I'm not too sure. Because he still had the wards in, uh, a couple wards in his inventory. Yeah, he was a long way away from his team. Yeah. And Liquid, they actually did not deward yeah, that ward that was placed there three minutes ago. It's still there, chilling. Giving some good information. They also saw Liquid making the moves up toward that top lane, so they know there are targets behind GH. No one. Matu. Oh. Easy spiderling goal. Cash money. And that, and he's nearly got his Yule Scepter done. It'll be very slippery. Is under attack. That Yule Scepter, one of the best items for his access, we've said yeah. in the past. You just insta yields him as soon as he blinks. If you have vision at all of him, you can't get clear initiations. And I mean, Ramses is farming extremely hard, too. Yep. Having S and Y going for the BGB next, he's going to be a bit of a monster. Having a good chunk of net worth over that Miracle Medusa. Radiant's bottom tower is Not under attack. Not as you say. DKB needed before. Don't really do too much in the final. And Liquid there, they line up themselves with this Medusa. They are happy if they can keep this one going. As uh, not a lot of chance that no one really wants to take the game late with the mid shakeup. I think that's why they, they picked the Medusa. You know, yeah. just take it late game. And if you look at VP's lineup, they don't really have what we would call like the greatest D push. They have Fissure and then the Gyros Black and some Ion Shell to kind of deal with that. So if uh, Liquid can take it late game, they have a bit better of situations just because they have the Medusa Snake and the Medusa on the high ground who acts as that. And then I guess you could say like pseudo sniper kind of concept. No one takes the armor. Talent now too. With the pipe complete, Pasha. BP definitely getting the tools together to try and really amp up the aggression. Yeah, skipping the mech because he's versus AA. Yep. I'm going to do quite a bit against the quiz lineup. Monica Prime ready to get the jump. Two down bottom. They're on the way over VP. They've got the vision with the rocket flare. They know Kuro's position. He's trying to hide. Mind control is there. Couldn't look for the counter play, but the two man fisher comes through from no one. Um. That was a bit awkward. There we go. That was a good jump. They got the cooldown from Ramsey's coming in from the side. And they will be able to claim both of these kills. Kuro and Mind Control hit the ground and a tier two down in favor of BP. Yep, really, really nice aggressive moves. They definitely feel that there is a stronger portion versus Liquid since Liquid has a Dusa. They need more time. But nice rockets from Lil. That uh, information he gave, very crucial. And the Spirit Vessel is going to be finished up already. Dyer's top tower is so the beauty top. about Clockwork, you get Spirit Vessel, you get your 5 armor talent, and then mm -hmm. at 15 you can choose to get the 15 strength, and you're sitting at like 2200 health with 12 armor as a support Clockwork. I saw Yapsor doing it the other day, and I was like, oh my god, this clock is actually... It's pretty hard to bring him down just because of how durable you are. You soak a lot of spells, even if you do die. Gonna be going for that Shadow Blade to get those pickups whenever people are split pushing. You know, find Matu would be the dream for them. They might actually go for a smoke here behind no one. See what they can get done. See if they can build up some of those Spirit Vessel charges. They've got the high ground ward watching Liquid at the moment. They see my control, they see Kuroki. Play around that information. King's coming out here. Let's let's tell you. He knows that they're around. Lil trying for a hook shot, but with the amount of spiders, he can't close the gap. He has to jump through. Does have the Yule set up into the stuns. Do they have the damage? Looks like they should do with the drag back vacuum. They've got him. They take down Matuma Man. Kuroki trying to respond to this, but the creeps are there. They're just swarming him. VP jump forward. They'll claim Kuro's life as well. Right there, that pipe playing a big part, saving Solo's life. Kuroki would have at least gotten a trade kill, but. He'll kill Matu. He really needs that BKB. Be able to fight properly. Miracle. He's getting sandwiched here. Mill doesn't have the hook shot. Fish it off the mark. Should be able to make it. Great for the TP. Close one, but Miracle does escape. Miracle doing a good job 
of rising back up the ranks with his farm. Taking that aggressive position inside VP's jungle. They're elsewhere. And then VP, the gap. instantly when they see someone split up, they start looking for plays. Look at that. Axe shows bottom. Both Clockwork and Bane VP down. Oh, shoot. Look at uh, look at Ramsey's. I mean, you said he's got good farm. It's 21 minutes, and he's got a completed battle. Uh, sorry, uh, Butterfly. Looking for my control here. They have a lot of spell damage for him, too. They should be able to bring him down with just the two supports. Yeah, Ramsey's decided to... Not go for BKB, feeling a bit yeah. more greedy. I mean, I, I like that. Good. He's because they can rely on the pipe, obviously. That's already there for the yeah. team to help him out. And having a butterfly this early on is uh, pretty, pretty damn crazy. No one's able to find a pickoff on Takuro. Just enchant totem twice. Why is she looking for Miracle there? Look at the homing missile, but Ramsey's can't really chase for that one. He could try and look towards Matumba, but they're already out with the free pathing. Jukes him through the trees. Matumba Man will be safe. Yeah, Ramsey's with that. When he has the plus 50 movement speed talent, whenever he flutters, he's gonna have haste. 550 movement speed. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 20 to 12. Okay, gold lead for VP. Yeah, VP's just been, they're setting the pace of the game nicely for themselves. They gotta keep the aggression. Oh! So here we go, they are. There's the combo. You'll set up into the enchant item, hook shop as well. You gotta be careful farming with those spiders when there's this sneaky, sneaky shaker on the map now. That was pre Shadow Blade, too. Now the Shadow Blade's coming out. No Broodmother, who is the strongest hero on Liquid's side. This is a free Roche from Reefy. Let's see if Liquid can go for some type of steel play. That'll be tough. Here, yeah, just scouts it out. Let's try and have a look in. Actually, just in perfect position to block off any sort of interruption from Liquid. and. With that in mind, this is a bit of a no-go zone. Liquid backing away already. I mean, they just cannot get involved in this rush. Ramses grabs the Aegis. Back up to the top lane, pushing this one out. It's looking pretty problematic for Liquid. Yeah, VP's getting really, really big yeah. and very, very quickly. This is early stages, but their lineup's looking pretty terrifying. Just seems to have the potential to do a lot more than what Liquid can do. Yeah, they're really outpacing them at the moment. Miracle's having a lot of trouble catching up. He's almost 11k net worth. He's gonna have Lincolns on top of that Yasha soon. Still get picked off from all the burst from VP. And VP's ward coverage in this game, they're not really letting Liquid get those opportunities to walk out of the base and farm. They've been pretty much secluded to their neutral farming for the last, I wanna say, eight to 10 minutes. Look at the kill score. The kill board, and it's pretty much all VP favored since the 19 minute mark. Yeah, I feel like they just. Liquid haven't been able to do that much with the, the decent timing on the Axe Blink Dagger. Like, that, that sort of combo with the, the cool and yeah. the Ice Blast, we've only seen it once. That's, uh, all, they're, that's all they really do have, though, yeah. right? Sure. The rest yeah. of the damage that you can throw inside of the AA is Broodmother walking into an Earthshaker and a Darkseer is not ideal. Oh. Not too. Here Owen we does go. does not have the Echo, but he can be able to. Do a lot of damage here. Just clean out those spiders. Eight seconds to Echo Slam. Oh, those porting in. Five seconds. The Echo is going to be there in free a few. He has got the blink. He's going to set up. He's got to take those spiders away, and indeed he does. Takes the spiders away from him. I don't know if it'll be enough to keep him alive. Oh, in fact, they are just close enough for him to still get it. As that spider gets absolutely splatted. And no one. He's going for it. The man, man, he's, he's going to go for the Aghanim Scepter, as it looks to be, as he's queued it up, and he's 3k gold towards it. That, that's pretty cool to be able to scout out and look for the Broodmother, right? You just hop around. That'd be nice. Miracle. Oh, no for him here. Said, oh, the vacuum onto two, into the cooldown. Stone Gaze comes out. The Mind Control, he's already gone. Miracle, he's falling low. He's come out still alive, but the Mask of Man is he's getting himself back up. The Spirit Vessel is ticking it down wow. and reducing what he could do, but he does manage to put a... A stop to that play from VP. Keeps himself alive, able to pop the Aegis, and able to kill no one. I thought he was going to go down there for sure, but 3,000 damage done by Miracle there. That's Stone Gaze damage amp. He got a good chunk of mana restored from the Snake as well. That was pretty damn impressive on top of the Ice Blast. Kuroki now gets the Midas finished up, so his levels will start boosting up a decent amount and yeah that's all they really need they need to go for this super late game on yeah. liquid they are struggling 6k advantage for vp i think ramsey's just got the bkb delivered mm -hmm.
and Lil almost solo crest. So they're getting a lot of these big items for themselves that they... It's helping them pull further and further ahead. Miracle Invis. Stalking Lil. I don't really imagine you can do on his own against that <laughs> yeah. guy. It's, like I said, it, it's That's 2000. A clock. He actually, okay, he took the battery salt damage over the strength this time around. But he's still incredibly tanky. 16 armor. Timberman still looking for that, that BKB. Really needs it as we seem to, to be able to have the chance of doing anything in all Ramsey's. Trying to chase down Kuro. Four staffs there though, so Kuro will be fine. Breaks the distance. To my man now, seeing if he can get back and involved. The webs are out and Pasha can get away. Meanwhile, up top, this means the Miracle left alone. And that is a huge pickoff for VP. That is Miracle down for a whole minute without buyback. Go slam under Creek Wave. Easy pick off when he's that far ahead and isolated. And look at this VP coming with the wraparound. They're looking to try and get more from Liquid. They've got the Nightmare onto one. The Fiend's Grip onto another. Set up from Solo allows them to take down GH and also to crush Kuroki. GP. Yeah, VP's just, they're playing at such a fast yeah, they're pace. They're crushing it. Top tower is under attack. 8k gold lead. Over a 10k experience lead as well. And they're going high ground now. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Without a Medusa, this is not going to be an easy defense for Liquid. 20 seconds, Radiance no miracle. Fortified. The fortification comes out. I mean, you've only an axe and a broom mother. I don't know what sort of a play that they could go for at the moment. Tumor Man's just keeping himself hidden in the tree line. That's the Agon himself to complete for no one. Tier 3 down in the mid lane. They open up the racks and they'll claim them. It. It's going to be a rags gone. VP. Getting significantly ahead now, and it's it's hard for Liquid to stop this from happening. If they, if they continue to sort of give away kills outside the base, it's not going to be nice once it comes to the defense. No, definitely not. My control is unable to find anything as this axe. Yeah. The ward vision from VP is just spotting every single one of Liquid's movements, and they're just playing on the full defensive at the moment. Still no BKB on Matu. This was a 12-minute Deso Mask of Madness. And now it's 28 minutes on, and he still has not finished it up. BP just playing incredibly well around all this. And mid lane, oh, no one goes no in. No one. Hops away. Oh, not quite enough damage to rumor to my man down, but it was close. Just keeping Liquid on their toes. The old Deco Slam. Would have probably had that. Nah. <laughs> it's better now with more units. Yeah, it isn't comes. It? But I'm sure not. He, no one's probably blaming the patch as well. That's, what, that's, the that's why I saw the wall play. That's, yeah, I saw the wall play. That's what I expected. <laughs> Miracle. Still needing a decent amount of time. He need, if they can keep this game going, Liquid could have a chance. But they, they need to somehow stop VP getting away with these sort of sieges. With the Blink Dagger on Pasha, there's so much setup. There's a, a lot of wombo combo from from VP. They need to be able to get some turnaround kills though, because even if they take it late, if they're at too much of a deficit, this gyro is a big problem. Because even if Medusa's sitting like behind the tower, behind the racks, we've seen what the new flak can do. That, well, new flak I say, it's been for quite a long time, that 1250 range, but it is pretty ridiculous when you can just get on, get near somebody like that. Hit people all the way in the back with no problem. He's pretty massive. Now killing, getting ulti orb. Radiant's top shrine is under attack. The easy shrines, as it were, for VP. Liquid. And maybe thinking about doing something out of They've come out of the base. They've got the KB finally. Pasha. Oh, he did. He tried to get him up on the cliff. I mean, at least dragged him back into the fissure. And Pasha with the run down from the Iron Shell. It's enough to take down Kuroki. They do lose Tolo. And Pasha is going to get beaten down by Matuma Man. We'll post the BKB Miracle. I'm still with the rest of BP elsewhere. Ramsey's popped the BKB. Looking to chase down Miracle. No one's got the control. Miracle down yet again. Losing two more on Liquid. Oh, you see that by no one? Oh, the Agonims. Did he close the gap with it? And Bam! again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I can it. just imagine the smile on his face. Look at the look he at Solo bringing him out. He's absolutely oh, loving my it. Oh, goodness. Agonim Shaker. Come on, it's playing. That was oh that was epic. That was he just that leaped finish so far away. Finish. Bye. Again though, 
VP with those incredibly aggressive moves. Looking for... Just looking to never slow down. Never slow down the pace versus Liquid's lineup. I mean, Liquid's just... It feels like they've just been trying to chill. It's, it's not paying off this game. VP ain't letting Liquid chill this game. They're coming in with no chill. And all the skill. 30 to 15, 16k lead. And now pushing in for a second set of racks. Tier three's down, Ramsey's up on the high ground. Look at those flax, killing Kuroki. Look at that distance, dude. It's it's insane. That's bad. Now you get that nine flak at level 15. You just can't come near the racks. Yeah, you can't step near it. It kills the whole racks, and if you step up, you die. It's worse than, uh, you know, I mean, we've all seen the defenses against Aluna with the glaives when she's hitting the racks. This is, this is worse. Meteor hammer. Oh, so like. And Ramses gets the well played. Now this I'm is done. this is it's a sensible hero to buy on. You've got the setup for that channel time. You you've got the nightmare, nightmare into Meteor Hammer. And he's got the cast range time. And the too. cast range, so you can get those racks and tier threes from a mile off. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, can Liquid turn this round? I mean, they do have a Medusa. Everything's everything's possible. Anything's possible. At, but it's rough. So it's the way that VP are playing. A, too much of a deficit. Oh, now. Man, they just got my man outside of the base here. Then come the rest of the team. Mind control does get the call off for the cooldowns there from Ramses. They surround them. BKB's popped by Matuma Man. He's managing to lunge a little bit up. It's not enough though. Matuma Man's down. Mind control as well. GH is trying to run. He's trying to hide. But the Jace down's there. He's been surrounded by Pasha and Ramses. Miracle versus the world now. It really is. Kuro is just getting dunked on by no one. No one? He's full of low fat. No one's dead. All right, Miracle. Just managed to get the Shaker. But again, his three heroes dying on Liquid. Only one on VP. No one knows. This game is over. He just buys back. He wants to come back in and play some dotes with the team. And here we go. You'll set up it into I, the dunk. Honestly, I, every time I see that Earth I mean, it's, jump, it's, it's, it just brings a smile. And GG is cool. The game is over. Liquid fall apart here in game one. VP playing very, very tightly. And I don't know, man. It's, we sort of said it. You know, Liquid, they're, they're already secure here, so maybe sort of chilling out a little bit. You know, though, it's they're, uh, they're, yep. the pace of the game, you look at Liquid's draft, and they need things to go really well for themselves. They need Matu to have an incredibly good game. And VP, they have a very team-oriented lineup. They put pressure on all three lanes. I think... I think all three lanes like kind of won, I would say. Ramsey's did really well top. Yeah. Shaker did great Shaker. middle. Clockwork and Darkseer, they shut down.